On October 16, 2024, BMPD reported that the Russian Navy's newest Borei A class strategic nuclear submarine, Nyaz Pazharsky, Cave 555, has officially entered state trials. Recently published images show the submarine undergoing rigorous testing, marking an important step in its final preparations before deployment. This submarine, part of the modified 09552 project, Borei A, is the eighth vessel in Russia's next generation ballistic missile submarine fleet and the fifth of its class. Built at the Sevmash shipyard in Sivirodvinsk, under the United Shipbuilding Corporation, USC, Nyaz Pazharsky first ventured out for sea trials on July 28, 2024. It is expected to officially join the 31 SD submarine division of the Northern Fleet by December 2024. The construction of Nyaz Pazharsky dates back to December 23, 2016, following a contract between the Russian Ministry of Defense and USC, signed on May 25, 2012, for the production of four Borei A-class submarines. This vessel, launched on February 3, 2024, is the final submarine in this batch. It follows the commissioning of Nyaz Oleg, Cave 552, Generalissima Suvorov, Cave 553, and Imperator Alexander III, Cave 554, all of which strengthen Russia's nuclear deterrence capabilities. The Borei and Borei A class submarines form the backbone of Russia's strategic submarine fleet. Earlier units such as Yuri Dolgoruki, Cave 535, Alexander Nevsky, Cave 550, and Vladimir Monomak, Cave 551, have already been integrated into service with the Russian Navy. These vessels are strategically divided between the Northern and Pacific fleets, ensuring that Russia's submarine based nuclear deterrence remains effective across multiple fronts. Nyaz Pazharsky, like its counterparts, is equipped with Bulava Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, ICBMs, each capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads. These submarines are vital in maintaining Russia's second strike capability, ensuring that the nation can respond to any potential nuclear threat. Compared to earlier Borei class submarines, Nyaz Pazharsky and its Borei A counterparts incorporate several technological improvements. These include enhanced stealth capabilities. The submarine is designed to operate with a reduced acoustic signature, making it harder to detect by enemy sonar systems. Improved maneuverability. The vessel's design allows for greater agility in underwater operations. Advanced sonar and electronics. Cutting-edge systems enable more effective long-range detection and monitoring of potential threats. Extended operational endurance. Its modern nuclear reactor systems allow the submarine to stay submerged for prolonged periods, enabling long-range global patrols. These upgrades not only enhance the submarine's performance, but also make it a more formidable component of Russia's strategic nuclear arsenal. The submarine is specifically designed for long-range global operations, with the ability to remain undetected in various parts of the world, including the Arctic, a region that holds increasing strategic and geopolitical importance. The Arctic is a focal point of Russia's global ambitions, given its abundant resources and the critical shipping routes that pass through the region. Nyaz Pazharsky with its advanced capabilities, is well equipped to patrol these waters, further solidifying Russia's presence in the Arctic. The vessel's ability to remain submerged for extended periods in such remote and harsh environments underscores its critical role in securing Russia's interests in the region. As a submarine-based platform for launching ballistic missiles, Nyaz Pazharsky is much harder to detect and neutralize compared to land-based missile systems. This complexity makes it more challenging for potential adversaries to counter Russia's nuclear forces enhancing the submarine's importance in the country's broader strategic deterrence posture. The state trials mark the final phase before the submarine's full integration into the Northern Fleet, where it will play a pivotal role in safeguarding Russia's national security. With Nyaz Pazharsky expected to enter service by the end of 2024, the vessel will join an elite group of submarines that are essential for maintaining the balance of power in modern global security dynamics.